Hi everybody, I thought I'd come out with this quick video, so it's going to be a bit rough, but I wanted to get it out because I believe that it's an urgent message. So I titled it, Zachariah's Flying Scroll, The Star of Bethlehem, and the United States of America. Uh, that may not be the best title, but anyways, like I said, this is going to be a rather short uh, video and a bit rough around the edges but I'm just going to go from here and uh, let you see what I'm referring to and I'll start off with Yako's God's Roadmap to the End short clip and continue from there. In Zechariah 1 where the rider of the red horse is described we see myrtle trees being mentioned three times which seems a little excessive given the subject matter. And this would then indicate something that our Heavenly Father wants to convey to us or draw our attention to, and to which we have to pay careful attention. The word that is used for myrtle has the same root as the name of Esther, and this would then lead one to believe that significant developments may occur in the world around the time of Purim, which occurs at the beginning of March in 2023. Passover will occur in the beginning of April this year, and it could be that the West's proxy war with Russia in Ukraine could soon escalate to something far worse, not to mention looming conflicts between China and Taiwan, China and the US, and North Korea and the South Korea and US alliance. We know that the Antichrist is about to step onto the scene. So like in the video clip with God's road map to the end where he was showing in Zechariah 1, the mention of the myrtle tree associated with the red horse, that all things are still, but that is the horse of war. But with Esther, as he had mentioned, so Queen Esther's Jewish name was Hadassah, and this is in Esther 2.7, before she adopted her Persian name of Esther, uh, that Esther means star, and on the 1st of March, you see that we have the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter. So the bright and morning star and the king planet. And that is also associated with the star of Bethlehem. And that was what the three magi saw with the first coming of Christ. So the most obvious way or sign would be the same thing for Christ's second coming. And then the, her Jewish name, Esther's Jewish name was Hadessa, which means myrtle or myrtle tree. So I believe that Zechariah 1 was pointing to both star and myrtle tree, as well as Esther's scroll. So the scroll of Esther is called the Magia, and it's only a single role rather than the double role as you see with the Torah. So it has the whole book of Esther written in it, which you could pull out with a tab. But when it's folded back inside, you just have this singular scroll with the handle on the end and the tip is always pointed. Likewise, here's an older ancient one. So the scroll goes, uh, the book of Esther goes back into the scroll. You have the handle on the end and this dome-shaped uh, crown on top. And that is called the Magia. And that is reminiscent of the flying scroll that is mentioned in Zechariah 5. I have a video on this and uh, you can take a look at that. I'll try and put a link to that. And this is the Agni P, which is an Indian uh, intercontinental ballistic missile. So you see it looks like the Magia with the dome on top. And then the handle on the bottom would be the, the thruster. So in Zechariah 5, which talks about the vision of the flying scroll, which I believe is in reference to Esther and the Magia. And then the, it talks about the curse, the curse that looks the same. So all missiles or ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, whether conventional or nuclear, are referred to as the curse. 
So let me read in Zechariah 5, 4, in particular, it says, I will send out the curse, says the Lord of hosts. It shall enter the house of the thief and the house of the one who swears falsely by my name. It shall remain in the midst of his house and consume it with its timber and stones. So, so this is where I have to be real careful, but please read it. I'll try and refer to most of it. But anyways, in verse four, the curse, like I said, is the flying scroll, which looks like Esther's uh, Magia. And it shall enter the house of the thief, which is the U.S. Treasury and the U.S. Capitol, and the house of the one who swears falsely by my name, and the house is the White House and the U.S. President who swears on the Bible, so help me God. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, which is the U.S. President, and consume it with its timbers, with its timber and stones. So during the war of 1812, the British on August 24th, 1814, burned the White House down and almost all of the timbers, which the house, White House was built out of at that time, were almost completely destroyed, but it underwent restoration several times, even up through 1950. And it was replaced, they replaced the burned timbers and then they restored most of it with stone, in particular marble stone. So, and for those who believe this cannot be the United States of America, no other country swears on the Bible. So for example, Russia, China, and North Korea, they're communistic countries in the Middle East, they also do not swear on the Bible. So the only country that does that is the United States of America. So I believe that something ominous that the flying scroll will in fact uh, be a, an attack in which it shall remain in the midst of that house and of the house of the thief and consume it with its timber and stones. So I believe you can see what I'm alluding to that may occur very soon or sometime in the not so distant future. And given the fact that the book of Esther and the book of Zechariah and chapters one in particular, as well as chapter five with the scroll of Esther being the Megiah Esther meaning star, again, this being tomorrow, I'm not saying anything's going to happen tomorrow, but it might in fact be a very critical sign with star and in fact being maybe the star of Bethlehem, again, being the conjunction of Jupiter, the king planet, and the king being King Messiah, and Venus being the bright and morning star is all associated with Jesus Christ. And that might have been the star of Bethlehem that the Magi saw with his first coming. And it would be the same with his second coming. And then Hadessa, meaning myrtle or myrtle tree. So, and here's a quick search of the White House 1814 fire. And they refer to him as timbers, the burnt pieces of timbers and the reconstruction here of the second floor corridor in 1950 and they replaced it mostly with new timbers as well as with stone. So I wanted to put out this quick video of Zachariah's flying scroll and the USA. I'm not predicting the date but also with the March 1st tomorrow Jupiter and Venus conjunction which is always called the star of Bethlehem I think with current tensions escalating in the world, 
that this is definitely an urgent and high watch time. So, but these things, I believe, absolutely will come to pass that is spoken of in Zechariah chapter 5, verse 4, and it is associated with the USA, in particular to an associated city, and you know what I'm referring to and alluding to, within the United States of America. Anyhow, I hope this quick video has been a blessing to you. Please share this video so that it gets out as a warning to others as these things are very close on the horizon. And again, I hope this has been a blessing and I will talk to you soon. Take care.